Hello, and welcome to a Priori story time class. Today we'll be reading a tale called How the Native Bear Lost His Tail. What's that? Well, that's, that's an Aboriginal term for koala. Yeah. Okay. We got two koalas here who we'll picked today's story out. And the koala and the whiptail kangaroo were very friendly. They shared the same gunya. What's that? Well, you know what a gunya is. It's a, uh, like a temporary shelter, like bark and branches in the outback, okay? And they shared the same gunya and hunted together and were very proud of their long tails. At this time, a drought was over the land. Water was very scarce, and the two friends had camped by a shallow water hole, water hole which contained some stagnant water. It was very nauseating to have to drink such water after the clear springs of the mountains. Nevertheless, it saved them from dying of thirst. At sunset, banks of dark clouds would float low across the sky and give promise of heavy rain. But at sunrise, the sky would be as bright and clear as before. At last, even the supply of stagnant water was exhausted, and the two friends were in a desperate plight. After some time, the kangaroo spoke and said, When my mother carried me in her pouch, I remember such a drought as this. The birds fell from the trees. The animals died fighting around dry water holes, and the trees withered and died. My mother traveled far with me over the mountains and down by the riverbed, but she traveled slowly as hunger and thirst had made her very weak, and I was heavy to carry. Then another kangaroo spoke to her and said, why do you carry such a heavy burden? You will surely die. Throw him into the bush and come with me, for I will travel fast and take you to water. My mother would not leave me to die, but struggled on and the other kangaroo left her to die from thirst. Wearied by her heavy burden, she struggled on until she came to a sandy riverbed. She now dug a deep hole in the sand, which slowly filled with cool, clear water. We camped by this water hall until the rain came. I shall go to the river and see if I can dig and find water. For if we stay here, we shall surely perish from thirst. The koala was delighted at this suggestion and said, yes, let us both go down to the riverbed. I have very strong arms and will help you. They made their way to the river, but before reaching it, stumbled across some of their friends who had died of thirst. This made them very serious and determined. When they reached the river, the sun was very hot and they were very tired. The koala suggested that the kangaroo should start digging as he knew most about it. The kangaroo went to work with a will and dug a deep hole, but no signs of water were visible. The kangaroo was exhausted from his work and asked the koala to help him. The koala was very cunning and said, I would willingly help you, but I am feeling very ill. The sun is very hot and I am afraid I'm going to die. The kangaroo was very sorry for his friend and set to work again without complaining. At last, his work was rewarded. A trickle of water appeared in the bottom of the hole and gradually increased until it filled to overflowing. The kangaroo went over to his friend and touching him gently on the shoulder said, I have discovered water and will bring some to you. But the koala was only sh shamming and dashed straight to the water hall without even replying to the surprised kangaroo. When the koala bent down to drink the water, his tail stuck out like a dry stick. The kangaroo, who could now see the despicable cunning of his friend, was very angry and, seizing his boomerang, cut off the tail of the drinker as it projected above the water hole. To this day, the native bear has no tail, as an evidence of his former laziness and cunning. 
what's that? Well, yeah, I can let them know. Do you want me to? I'll tell them. And the, the term koala means no water. How about that? Okay. Thank you all. Thank you for joining. Thank you, everybody.